there's actually some stuff I need to talk to you about separate from us. Um, there's been a whole bunch of talk today um, about this kind of feeling that maybe you might have known Joe before here. Um, for me personally, I just don't really care because I feel like whatever happened before getting here, like, has nothing to do with me. But, like, everybody else keeps feeling it. I think that given that this entire journey is about authenticity and about trust, and that that's the standard that's been set, I think that there's people out there that are questioning that. I think just given the level of trust that we've built here and the connection that we built here, that it really was important for me to tell you that. Like, do you feel like people are questioning me in a way that's, like, disrespectful? Yeah, I think it's gotten to a point where it's starting to take on a life of its own. And mm -hmm. I think it's important because it also could potentially extend outside of just this bubble here. Before I came here, I happened to have a friend from Minneapolis and uh, actually happened to have run into you. He was walking into a bar and he saw you walking out. And he's like, wait, that girl looks kind of familiar. <laughs> and uh, goes back to go sit with his girlfriends and they're like, oh, that's Michelle, she's the bachelorette. And he's like, no way, my boy's going on that show. Mm -hmm. And their response from there was, well, that's super interesting because she's already booed up. Um, she's been out with a tall, light-skinned baller. Sorry, a lot. Um, no, I do appreciate that because I'm a, I'm a person who likes to just squash it. I think maybe then I need to take a minute right now to uh, kind of figure me. out how to address it just because, yeah. I am very blindsided by the information that Jamie shares with me. It's all I can do to like not just like put up every single wall. Cause that's what I wanna do right now. I'm trying to think about the best way to address it. I think where I'm struggling most is that I don't know who believes in me and who doesn't. Thank you, Jamie. Absolutely. I'll see you I feel good, I feel good because I know there's nothing there with Joe and Michelle from before. I don't feel like I need to hear the words because I look at her face and I can see it. I mean, I think she took it well. The relationships where I feel connected and felt really good about them I don't know if they're the people who are saying things. <sighs> like right now I'm questioning, did I make the right decision to come here? Like I want to find my person. Just my person has to believe in me and I'm not sure who does right now.